Hi, Papa John, and another video. Today, what we want to do a video on is a new product for us. We're real excited about having these in-house now, already shipping out the door. Keystone punch down tight, 110 Keystone Jacks. We have Cat 3 for your voice, and then we have Cat 5E and Cat 6. One of the things about we're going to learn today, or just a reminder, uh, is that most jacks on one side is what I call the non-moving side of the T568A or B. So it doesn't matter uh, if you do an A or B, they always are the same. And that's your pairing, your 5-4 and your 7-8. That would be your blue, blue, white, and your brown, white, and brown. They stay the same on either category. The other side is where the switch is, and that's your A and B. And that's where your green, white, green, and your orange, white, orange change depending on which one you're going to be doing. So today what I want to show you real quickly is just a technique of wiring them and punching them down our Keystone Jacks 110 type punch down. Thanks. Okay, I prepped my cable and I've separated my 3-6 pair and my 5-4 pair. I'm starting at the back. I'll re leave these alone until I am ready to put them in. So I'm going to lay my green, green, white in, and then my blue, blue, white, Now what I can do, if I feel like I'm going to lose them while I'm working with the front, you can take your blade out and use the non-cut side and just real quickly, just sort of seat them in there. You're not punching them down, but you're sort of getting them to where they're there. And now we'll do The one and two, and the brown. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and there we go. Get the brown. Okay, she's ready to punch down. So now we're going to punch it down. And you have your low and your high on your tool. Normally low is for data, which is what we're doing. And there you go, punch down, it's ready to go into the wall plate. And they do come with dust caps that you can use. And just set it over on top. Oh, I got that one on wrong. There we go. And we remember when you're going to insert it into the wall plate, on the inside of the wall plate, it tells you what is up and what is down. So when I look at this, this is down, this is up, and we want the locking tab toward the floor. So I know that this goes in this way, and of course, this is how it's going to lock properly into the wall plate. You can hinge it, snap it, and it's ready to go.